Hello everybody, welcome back to Gun Activities 365. Just want to start out by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing. You guys are, are killing it on this channel. We went from 9 subscribers to dang near 200 in a week. Um, and that was, and that's that's big growth, that's super cool. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for everything. Um, I hope you guys have a great Christmas and great holidays and good time off from work and spend time with family and everything. So thank you guys. This video we're going to get into ammo shortage in my area. You guys have seen my videos in the past. Maybe some of you haven't. But for those of you that have, you know in my area ammo is not looking good. Um, ammo has not been looking good for the last month or so. Maybe maybe closer to two months. But things have just been progressively going downhill in my area. So to kick it off with that, um, I went to Cabela's last night. And I grabbed one of these 150 round packs at 223, 55 grain. Um, when they have those at Cabela's, I'm always going to grab them. They're 50 cents. They're exactly 50 cents around. That's what I want to pay for the stuff. I would love to pay 30 cents around, but that's just not going to happen. So, um, 50 cents in store around for me is, is very cheap for me. Uh, then when I was there too, last night, I grabbed this super target 20 gauge. I actually, interestingly enough, have plenty of 12 gauges and, um, a couple four tens, whatever, but I do not have a 20 gauge at all. So, I want to get one, and for the $10.99 that this was, I figured it was just sitting there with one lonely box. Let's just pick it up. This is $74.99, so $75 for 150 rounds. That's uh, 50 cents a round. So. Um, then last night with those two, I got um, these 2 to 3 five, five, six. They are 15 mags, whatever you want to call them. They're hex mags. Um, I guess they're advertised as 5.56 five, by 45 NATO. I got two of these. They were $11.99 each, so $12 for 30-round magazines. Can't really beat that. So um, Then that was last night. I was... So the reason I have more here, and this was last night, I'll explain that. So when I was there last night, I was just kind of snooping around for ammo. There wasn't a bunch, really. I was just kind of looking. I'm looking for a couple things, some stuff I want to test, test, especially for the channel and stuff, and just some stuff I need. And there was a, a 380 there that I was kind of looking at, and I've been looking at, and then there was another gun I've been looking at. Couldn't really decide, so I just picked these four up and paid and went home and kind of thought about it overnight, and I woke up this morning and had to go do something for work, and I left there, got done doing that, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go get that 380. I don't have a 380. I have like, I don't even know, 40 guns in 9mm and 10 guns in 45 ACP, and five guns and 10 millimeter and whatever and 32 and i got 22 guns and 22 long rifle i mean it just it's a stupid amount and i don't have anything 380 and i just like well let's try it out i mean let's just see i mean it, it's not hurting nobody it's no different than a 22 it's it's more powerful than a 22 but it's can't be any more useless than a 22 i mean if a guy wants to plank it or throw it in your pocket and conceal carry or whatever but so i got those last night I went back in there today and I decided on a gun. I'm going to get in that gun that I got in another video. I'm going to do kind of an unboxing of it. But I got four round, or four boxes, so 200 rounds, 50, 100, 150, 200. 200 rounds of 380 auto, full metal jacket, 95 grain, just Federal American Eagle. Um, this in my area, and I mean, it's 380 in general. It's usually very expensive for some reason, but... In my area, 380 is very, very expensive. This was, and this was a good deal. That's why I grabbed four. I honestly should have grabbed every box they had, but I don't like being that way because, especially around Christmas time and everything, there's people going in and out of Cabela's and places trying to buy stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I didn't want to grab every single box. Could I have? Yes. Um, but I'm not going to be like that. I just, I'm good enough for 200 rounds for now, especially when I only have one gun for it. But. They had these four boxes in there. They were $24.99 a piece. You could find it maybe a little cheaper online, but that's that's fairly good price, especially in store and everything, all considering. Um, $24.99 for $380 for a box of $50. $0.50 50 cents a round, that's honestly about what it goes for. Um, wish it was a little cheaper, like 9mm, but it is what it is. Um, it, I mean, it just, it literally, it is what it is. You either, you either pay or you reload or you do something or you don't have 380. I mean, you don't have an option. So they were a little expensive, but $24.99 in my area, that's a great price for full metal jacket 380. 
so when I was in there last night, they didn't really have a whole lot. They had they had some of these herders. Sorry, they had some of these herders. Um, two two three fifty five green bulk packs. That's all they had. There was not one other box of two two three or five five six. Not one. Shotgun shells. There was not one box of twenty gauge except for those. Uh, they had a couple 16 gauge and 12 gauge and whatever. They had quite a few shotgun shells varieties and stuff. They had the TSS $55 for five rounds of 410 or whatever. It's like 11, 12 bucks a round. Absolutely not. I'm not paying that. And there's not very many people that are going to pay that. Even that hunt, they're not going to pay that. So, um, anyways, they didn't really have anything for 410, but they had quite a bit of, you know, 12 gauge and 28 gauge and 16 gauge stuff like that. Um, the handgun section when I was there last night was fairly empty. I went there this morning. It was the exact same thing. They either did not put out ammo or they didn't get any. So when I was purchasing, when I was looking at these two guns that I was thinking about, I was, it was 380 and nine millimeter. I was like, okay, they don't have any nine millimeter on the shelf. I don't really care because I have thousands and thousands of rounds at home. Who cares? 380 if I buy a gun. And 380 HCP or auto, I should say. Um, I don't have any rounds for it, so I had to go check the shelf before I committed to buying that gun and seeing they had um, they had probably 15 boxes. These they would say uh, probably not that many. I'd say I'd say 12 probably is probably what they had it was probably 12 boxes of 380. So they like, okay, I'll pick up a couple hundred rounds of that and yeah, I'll purchase that gun. And the shelves. Today, which of course Christmas and everything, but these shelves today are bare. There, that shotgun stuff that was there last night is not there. All these bulk packs of herders are basically gone. I think there was three, but last night there was like ten. Uh, no, there is actually probably more than that. I was ten to fifteen, and there was two or three there today. Um, the three eighty, they must have just got this in today because I didn't see it yesterday, but I wasn't really looking for it. So, um. They had a couple boxes of uh, 9mm last night. It was all gone today. A guy said that someone came in and grabbed like 20 boxes of 50 rounds and took all of it. So it is what it is, whatever. So um, in my area, things are getting very, very, very scarce. Like like bad. Like that super, super, super expensive stuff that I said nobody's going to buy. And a couple videos ago, um, people are buying that now because that's all they can find. I was in there talking to a gentleman that needed some... What was it? 6.5 Grendel is what it was. It was 6.5 Grendel. And he paid $59 and whatever cents, so 60 bucks for 20 rounds. And it was not very, I mean, it was high quality ammo, but it was not worth $3 a round. I can tell you that right now. But he had to do what he had to do because he has no ammo. ammo. He has no way to reload. He doesn't have that stuff. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't have a way to get it other than just paying the price for it so in my area things are not looking great like i said there's in cabela's in in my area anyways if you guys have stock shelves that's awesome let me know down below um don't think that i'm trying to to fear anybody into going buy all the ammo whatever i'm just sitting here telling you guys what's going on in my area and kind of my experience i've seen a lot of youtubers a lot of people commenting everything going on Everyone, there's a lot of people saying they don't have ammo in their area, and there's a lot of people that saying it's plentiful and it's absolutely everywhere. That's awesome. That's super cool. I wish that was the way it is here, but it's not. Um, but we're getting in the cold season here, so I'm not really shooting as much at all anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. But I don't want you guys to think I'm fear-mongering or telling you to go buy every single box of ammo. There's, I, I'm not doing that. So I want to talk about what there was on the shelves when I went there today. There was 380, quite a bit of it, uh, this stuff, and then they had some def defensive rounds. Um, there was no 9mm. There was a couple of them streaks or whatever, them little 20-round uh, box of streaks or whatever they are. They had no 45 ACP, except for aluminum case, and it was like a dollar a round almost because Cabela's messed up during the pandemic and they paid way too much for it, but we're not going to talk about that. They had 45 ACP, but it was only aluminum case. They had no brass, no no uh, self, no uh, protection ammo, no hollow points, whatever you want to call it. They didn't have any of that for 45 ACP. They had not one box of 10 millimeter. They did not have any sort of 223 or 556. Not one single box, other than uh, they had a couple of these yet. Um, 
450 Bushmaster, they had five, six boxes of that, but it's not very common, so that's usually going to sit there. The 30 odd six was cleaned out. The 30 30 was pretty much gone. I think there was a couple boxes of that. 454 Casul, there was two boxes. I don't remember what it was for sure, what kind it was, but there was two, two 20 round boxes of that. Um, 500 Smith and Wesson, there was one box of that, and it was just. It was really expensive stuff, so it wasn't like something you just go out and blow off. It was like protection and hunting stuff. Um, 270 and, you know, the 7 millimeter and the 7.62 by 54R and, you know, kind of some of that bigger stuff. There was some stuff in there, but it was very sporadic in a box here and five boxes here and two boxes here and one here. And, you know, there was probably... 40 selections that big stuff but there was only one or two boxes there and it was the very very expensive stuff that's why it's still sitting there um but for the the normal everyday blow joe like me and most of you guys that just buy plinking ammo and go out and you know have a couple boxes of of self-defense ammo and you know we we go buy a, a couple boxes of full metal jacket stuff like that there wasn't anything in there now when i was purchasing the gun i got i was talking to that guy we had a we had a nice conversation there was there was people, the ammo wasn't so hot because there wasn't really a selection, but the guns were hopping. Like, there, I had to wait for, I think, I don't even know. It, it was seven or eight people were ahead of me. I stood in there for an hour and 40 minutes before I even touched a laptop to fill out my stuff. So, um, I was talking with that guy for a while and we had a nice conversation. He said, he just basically looked at me and he goes, I see in here quite a bit. He goes, I don't, uh, I don't blame you because I know you're looking for certain stuff and you've asked for it and whatever, but we won't hold back ammo for certain people. I said, I respect that. That's fine. First come, first serve, whatever. And they know that. I, I respect that. I have no issue with that. Um, and he was telling me, he said, I'm going to tell you right now. He said, I don't know what's going on, why. But he said, we are not receiving ammunition. We are not receiving shipments for some reason. And he was saying he's, he's heard from other people that work at other Cabela's and people from across the the country working at Bass Pro or Sports Warehouse and blah 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 and there's cases and pallets and pallets and pallets and cases and cases of nine millimeter just sitting on the floor because places have got so much of it and he said they're not sure what the heck's going on but my Cabela's local me is not getting anything and when they get something it is just blowing off the shelves he said this 380 he is very surprised that what usually happens 380 is he said someone comes in and just grab every single box they'll go pay and walk out the door. He said, you buying a 380 gun and being able to grab 200 rounds of it is an absolute blessing and it's not normal. So what's going on in my area? I don't know. There's a there's a lot of demand and there's there's no supply around me, I can tell you that. So um, the local shops, they're kind of getting some stuff in. But I talked to one of them yesterday and he was telling me that prices, his, price, his buyer prices have went up quite a bit. Um, what he's paying from his distributors and stuff. He said it's absolutely insane, and it's not really fair to the end user, but it is what it is. He has to run a business, and he has to charge what he has to charge, and I respect that. So in my area, things aren't looking the best. I hope in your guys' area the, the shelves are stocked and things are perfect and things are going great for you, but in my area, it's not, and that's all I'm here to talk about is what's going on in my area. I do want to hear down in the comments from you guys. Like I said, if you guys have a lot of ammo or you don't have much going on or you know, tell me some stuff you're looking for that you haven't been able to find or... If you guys have a lead on some $15 a box Federal American Eagle 380 auto or something, you know, let us know down below. I'm not the only one that shoots 380. There's a lot, a lot of people that shoot it. So let us know down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.